What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror 4 and I wanted to go over have a quick video going over the patch notes. Uh, I wanted to do this when the patch hit the other day, but we kind of got hit with the the okie doke because the server was down and went ahead and updated early. So I want to quickly go over that. But more so than that, we have some big, big news and I'm going to go over that next. If you want to skip to that, just hit the timestamp. Um, I have the timestamp in there and you can skip ahead to that. But real quick, quick, let's review what we got patched this week. So our main part of our update was the attack of living race added. So at Thursday, on Thursday, at the same time that we usually have the uh, Capture Valley. So Capture Valley is on Wednesday. This is going to be on Thursday. At that same time, there is going to be an event happening in the, the valleys. Um, and so essentially on the fourth floor, these mobs will spawn. And if you kill like the mobs, you have a chance to spawn bigger mobs and then bosses. And those will drop chests. And those chests can be open. Items can be got. It's going to encourage PvP. And it's probably going to be a bit chaotic. Um, so, But it should be a fun event to participate in if you're high enough. Then, number two, they added a new raid, which pretty much no one can do yet. Number three... The uh, auto enhance feature was improved. I noticed this. I can auto enhance some rare stuff now. Um, so that's cool. Uh, they added auto enhancing for gear codex too. That that was uh, for some of those that we didn't have before, which is good. Then they had some bug fixes and gameplay improvements. So real quick, attack of the living race. This shows you where the mobs will be spawning on the map on the fourth floor of the valley. Um, you have a chance of semi boss appearing once the name monsters are defeated Then there's a chance of boss monsters appearing once the semi boss is defeated and you get treasure chests and we'll go over that in a second The new raid is level 115. There's literally no one that can do this yet. Not that I know of unless they're probably hacking um, uh, I'm on the one of the first servers that came out in the North American region I don't know if there were earlier servers on like maybe Asia or some other regions um, but we definitely don't have anyone that can do this yet. Um, so I'm not even sure why they brought that out yet, but it is what it is. Then um, there's the improvements on the auto enhance, which, you know, there's not much to say there. It's just they added some more stuff that you can auto enhance. Then they added this new codex in the shop. I'll do a separate video on this, but I mean, I will just say go ahead and buy the ones you can get for copper and register them. And then I'll try to explain this more in a separate video. Uh, In-game bug fixes, display order of regions will change. That's not a big deal. Uh, some of the object names in second and third floor hidden valleys will change. Some of the name of them, structured monsters will change. It means name changes, stuff like that. Some uh, user interface improvements. Um, so not too much here. Just some little quality of life things, which is nice. So we're going to go to the... Attack of the Living Race in the Game Encyclopedia real quick. So I can give you a quick overview of that. Uh, it shows you the monsters that will be on the valleys. So you got the uh, the first valley, second and third. No one's at the third yet. Then um, this shows you the rewards you can get. And as you can see, pretty much the first two valleys are very similar in rewards. Or are they exactly the same? Pretty much exactly the same. So there's no difference there. Um, once you get to the semi boss, uh, I think there's still no difference. Yeah, first two values are still the same. Um, you can at that point you can get like some epic uh, treasures, epic stones, um, yeah, enhancement stones for epic and legendary. Um, you get rare equipment. You're not gonna get any uh, epic equipment in this. Um, not even not even for these scales. Oh no, you can get epic uh, dragon scale leather and horn. But, I mean, you're going to need so many materials to craft that. It's going to be crazy. But still, they are dropping. Just not, I don't think you're going to get any equipment drops here for epic or above. Um, so yeah, once you move up to the boss. Um, again, similar rewards on the first two valleys. And it looks like it's similar rewards to the semi-boss. Uh, you're probably just going to get more chests that drop. Uh, so yeah, this looks about the same as this and um i kind of actually like that the they're gonna have the oil and some of this higher level stuff in here that we're gonna need um so that will be nice so that's that's that you need to be you know decent level 
uh, you have to work with a team probably gonna be a lot of PvP so these are the areas you should focus on and good luck to you guys hopefully you guys get some stuff it'll be every Thursday same time as the um, as the war so real quick I want to bounce into some exciting news um, they actually had did a pre press release with the um, update and if you read through you know them talking about the update then you get down here it says future update plans include class change and addition of a new class arbalist which is an archer expected to release in november so we don't have an exact date but it's coming in november class change it will be unlocked with player level 50 allows you to switch between any of the characters and it will maintain we'll probably have to wait for more details on exactly how class change will work but it should be interesting give you opportunity to try a different class so with this also we added some stuff to the main website mirrorforglobal.com so we come in here and let me make my let me see if we can read this uh yeah we can do this with my face cam here so right here we have chronicle which is basically the timeline of you know what they're bringing to the game so as you can see here in 2021 i don't know if these are all going to be separate or some of this is going to come together but here's what they talk about here they talk about um fog of war rain of arrows shall blow out the sun a force that will turn the tide of war new class and class change system so this will probably be the first update that comes um it will be the arbalist which is a little archer and um there is a little video that you can look up and go watch you can just go watch it on the main website i'm not gonna play that in here uh we're trying to get through this quick and castle siege is going to be a clan war which is coming um so that's not gonna be, i don't i think this is gonna be separate updates um so this might be late november early december but hey it's bring, gonna bring clan wars so it'll be interesting to see how that works with alliances that are out there but that's definitely exciting uh be uh, the bishon castle siege then this is really cool um they're saying uh you know before the end of the year we're going to get a pass to switch um servers i don't understand how that's going to work especially like i don't see why you would be able to go from an old server to a new server it doesn't make a whole lot of sense but i i don't know i guess we'll just have to wait and see how it works but definitely interesting it's supposed to be here before the end of the year then in 2022 we're going to get a cross server event called expedition which is going to be four hours of fierce battle you can you can obtain legendary loot boxes this is going to be quite fun and interesting i'm assuming you can maybe like pair up with clan uh clans from other servers and it, that should be really cool um I'm, I'm very excited about this you know the fact that they have the technology that's going to allow for these cross server um modes is very interesting so that, i think that's really really cool and something to look forward to so there's a lot to look forward to guys i hope you're excited i'm excited we also have all of the draco stuff coming all the nft stuff coming just so much coming to the game and i'm excited uh if you're not subscribed yet hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on hit the like button Put a comment down below if you're excited let me know what you what your feelings are on the updates that are coming and if let me know if you have any questions um and as usual i'll catch you guys in the next video